last wedding scene, and it didn't really occur to me, but of course we had a ton of extras there for the wedding, and so we filmed all this stuff with Chris Gorham marrying uh, Alyssa Milano, and then we filmed all this stuff with Ron and Michael, and he was going to the car with her, and, and all the people were like, wait, what is this movie about? Like, no one really understands, well, I'm gonna have to see it. And you were worried about the weather, because the weather was changing very fast. The weather was frightful. about that last yeah. shot, and it looks yeah, that, you know, but, but that probably was the, the highlight one. Everyone was there, and that was a fun, I mean, it was the biggest day that we had. Yeah. It was the most expensive day, but it was, it, it also, it went very smoothly, and everyone, I mean, the actors we had on this were so, I mean, not only at the top of their game and on, on what they did in the film. Go on. They were just, they were just, <laughs> they, they were so kind and nice, and I mean, everybody noticed that from the, the, the folks that were, um, you know, they're just as, 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 as extras and as participants in that way to the crew, uh, the, the actors bringing that. So that was, that actually was a really nice day and it felt like a reunion because we'd been, it was the, the, the second to last day that we were filming and we had been through the, uh, the entire uh, uh, filming process with the exception of that day and then we had a, a whole bunch of folks come back in for that day. That was really nice. You know, I, and I My say, favorite day, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I love the day when I was filming all by myself, just staring into the lens, making gum comments, and Darren was yelling at me. That was me I yelling. felt like we were really having a moment. You were giving me some amazing off-camera acting. I, I want to say, you're an amazing off-camera actor. One of the best I've ever worked with. Thank you. Thank you. Like, like, so keep like, cut, and then like, and they'd stop. And like, we're gonna have fake cut and cut for all that. <laughs> like, I mean, if I can indulge and, and pump up their heads, it really was. The casting was 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 really such a blessing. Like, you know, I mean, I mean, everything obviously revolved around the Liz Milano role, but Liz Milano uh, was interested in doing the part. I, I, I was over the moon. And then we strategically had to like everything had to be right because I thought, well, the audience has got to fall in love with Chris Gorham, but then we have to have a guy who who's so handsome that it's like, how can you like not Woo, fall in love with him? But, <laughs> <laughs> him. Okay. Uh, this guy has so much charisma and just, you know, huge pecs, and I thought, who are we going to get for that? And then, and then, Tom, you know, and then I, I was going to play that part naturally originally. <laughs> I said, no, I'm far more interested in this other quirky character. Yeah. He was going to be both man originally with some prosthetics. And I love chewing gum. Spry. It's delicious. We, you know, I mean, we had to have, like, so much of the film was serious, and so much of the actual comedy rested just simply around Tom, and so we had to get, get the perfect person that, you know, and, and then and then as, as Alyssa's, you know, uh, kind of substitute fathers, and uncle, I thought, well, I want to have somebody that I just, you know, that, I mean, I wish it was my dad, you know, <laughs> and then she said, and, and Alyssa said, like, hey, what do you think of Bo Bridges? And I was like, I, what does he yeah, think right. of us? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> get him, exactly. Yeah, and, and I thought, which was like, well, you know, hey, I know him, and I thought, well, no, please, absolutely. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, it was, I mean, I just was, it's so, it's so phenomenal. And then with Kelly, who, you know, like, I mean, with uh, Kelly was one of the last people to come on board. Of course, she had that part in the beginning. I thought, we need this fantasy dream girl. And and we were, you know, at that point, you know, like, we didn't have, we, you know, we were already done casting the film. I thought, I don't know, like, we can't, you know, we couldn't go out with a ton of money to anybody for that. And I thought, wait a second. I know this fabulous dream girl, like, you know, because like, I'd, I'd gone to high school with Kelly and she'd gone on to do all these things and Baywatch and, you know, and, and Ripley's and everything. And I called her and begged her and tried to sell her on how cool the movie was, it was and told her her part was going to be about like five times as big as it actually is. And she was like, no, Darren, come on, come on out, we'll do it. You know, I said, you'll be in.